I don't quite know what's going on. But I think I'm going to try and do something about this wall here. I want the opening to be bigger. The idea is to turn it into a bit of like a, a closet. I thought I was just going to paint it. Why am I not painting it? Okay, before we continue, let's backtrack for a moment. I realize I really haven't shared my ideas for this guest house with you yet. So let me quickly run you through the ideas that I have. I have two single bits in there that slot on top of each other right now and there isn't much storage. My idea is to take the wall that is in the center of the space and widen that wall so I can turn it into a wardrobe on either side and that creates two areas in the space so you have the front area where there is a little desk area and a sink and then the back of the room will be a bedroom and a little bit cozier with warmer colors. I actually really like the idea of incorporating some of this shaker style architecture because it is extremely efficient and functional and I think it would really work in this guest house. There isn't much storage at all and adding all of these pegs um, along the wall will just create an opportunity for people to hang things up or for me to hang things up. I also created a model. Now let me run you through that. This is just a ceiling that I will put in. As you can see, I will have a desk at the front area and a little shelving unit on the sides. And then this will be in the middle, the wall turned into a unit that can take a sink and a big water bottle. And on this side, it will turn into a wardrobe. And then along the top, I will have all of those shaker style pegs. A rogue moment. Hey, is Just not having a good day. You know, some days she was not feeling it. At least step one. <laughs> However, I have realized that what I wanted to do isn't actually possible. I was actually hoping to take this wall and elongate it, make it a really thick wall so I can turn it into a unit. And I wanted to take this board and essentially just move it along so I've got a narrow wardrobe. I need to make sure that I can still take the two single beds, that I can put them next to each other and that there's enough space for those. This room is really really small. This width is the width of a bed. You can't even put a bed in this direction, it just about doesn't fit. 
So I can only make it about 300 mil wide, which isn't very wide anyways. Um, but I thought it would be cute. It could be like a tiny closet and then I would do the same on the other side. But it turns out that this sheet, it's, it's just stuck together so well. I can't do it. I'm going to have to leave these walls as they are. Yeah, I guess I'm going to think about how I want to approach this and another solution and where I could put a little sink. I thought I had such a good solution for my little sink area. It's going to be so cute and now I can't do it. So, so I guess this is not going to happen. Okay. Let me go back to my original idea, which is this. This is what I was thinking originally, just to keep the wall in, but obviously to make the opening bigger as I have it. And then I would just have a little sink units down here, just right by the door. And on the other side of the wall, I will just have shelving. The back wall will have just some very basic panelling detailing. I'm hoping that this will be quite a versatile, simple plan for it that allows for different usages and possible change later on. That was an interesting shopping day, again. Couldn't buy that much food because I had to pick up so many packages. I've got one exciting thing though, let me show you. So the roads are snowy and slippery. It means that I can't go on my mad adventure yet. Um, but I managed to pick up packages from the place stoppers. They are paint <laughs> and more paint. I'm thinking this week. I'm gonna go for instant gratification. Yeah. I have another package here, but it's not it's not relevant just yet. The only thing is that I need to clean first. It's a lot of cleaning in this guest house. It's not really the time to paint, but I don't care. I just want it to look like something is happening. Instant gratification. By the way, isn't this looking so much nicer, having this opening bigger? It makes the whole space lighter as well. I did forget that I have all of this stuff in this front room. Thank you. 
First paint colour. This is actually not the most exciting one. It is the same that I'm using in the ceiling in the main house and I needed a new bucket anyways so I just got a new one but I, I'm gonna finish the old one first. It's just an off-white like really light grey and I'm using that for this first little room so when you come in it's nice and clean and airy. The second room will be different. All the excitement starts in the second room. All of this is a little bit temporary, these wires, but I'm just going to paint around it anyways because I just want it to look nice and then I'll just paint over it when I've got everything in its final position. Very curious what this is going to look like in the morning because I can't see anything anymore. <laughs> It does. This is my only light that I have here. <laughs> but I'm just going to do this first layer. It will feel so good to have done something. To have done something. To have made a tangible change. I mean, you probably can't tell the difference, but this is definitely looking a lot cleaner than it used to. I'm going to give it one more coat and then I'm going to move into the back room, which currently looks a little messy. That seems to be it for this room. Let's start cleaning out that bit now. exciting. I know what some of you are thinking. I really like the wallpaper. Don't get attached to this wallpaper. We don't like it. It is grey and since this little house is very dark, you see it even darker and just really cold. Also, this wallpaper has been here who knows how long. Just imagine how many people have been like breathing on it and like putting their grubby little fingers on it. So we're going to add some warmth, a nice warm colour, which could be this. I didn't have much choice and I have no idea whether it's going to be nice. But I figured, let's try. Let's just do it. It's a bit like a mocha. Oh, that's why it's June beige. It's like sand colour. It's almost yellow. I guess that's warm. Actually, this wall is going to get some trim detailing as well, or it's going to get some panelling detailing. 
because it's like the wall that you see coming in so I thought it's going to be interesting if I add some more detailing and then I've got the bed in front of it. I don't know if I like it. I like it. It's definitely very different from what I thought it was going to be but I, I, I guess I kind of like it. I think it's going to be good. We're up for the adventure of trying a strange new colour. We're being bold. I just walked out and walked back in. This is definitely something. Wow. Interesting. <gasps> Goodness. It's really cold. You know, I really wasn't sure about this yesterday. It's still a very odd colour. It's very much in between sand, ochre, beige. But it does feel nice. When I open the door, it, it's a really nice warm colour. And since this room is so dark, so grey, it, it seems to work. Today though, I'm going to do something slightly different. I want to put in a desk. I want to create a little desk area right here and it's just going to be really simple, just a shelf um, but I'm really looking forward to kind of taking this space and putting something in <laughs> that won't make it look like it's, it's a real room. It's um, really cold outside, the temperatures are plummeting again but, you know, I, I really do like the colours. I like the kind of like the really light grey of this room. It actually just feels really fresh. That room looks cosy and warm. Let's get going on this desk. Let's cut up some wood.
All right. I got myself some wood. You know, this piece of timber was actually extremely warped when I first received it. And it seemed to have kind of straightened out. It's still a little bit warped, but not, not as bad as it was. It was really bad. <laughs> Honestly, when I first received it, I didn't really get to check everything that was in the order until quite a while later, which I was secretly quite happy about because otherwise I would have felt the need to complain and that would be terrifying. So I was happy that I found out much later. But I'm going to use this and create a nice little desk. I'm not going to use the full width of it because it makes it quite deep. I'm excited. Okay. Let's measure this thing. So now I'm going to make this a bit more narrow and I figured I'm just going to use the natural lines in this wood because it's made up of long blocks. So I'm just going to take three blocks off and use that for somewhere else. So now I don't only have a desk, a small desk area. I've got a little shelf, which I think I'm going to put on the other side of the room where there will be like a kitchen. <laughs> kitchen is a big word in this case, but it's really cute. I can't decide whether to use scrap wood or actually proper bits of wood. strange because this is desk height and it looks incredibly low. I don't know how this happens. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
looks so odd and low. The right height. I think something is finally taking shape. I like that. So next up is still the ceiling, but it all depends on the weather, whether I can get materials. And it's looking to be getting cold, icy and slippery and all of that. So that is, yeah, we're not quite sure about that. But interior wise, oh, my little kitchen. I can make my mini kitchen. I think I'm just going back to my very original idea for how I'm going to lay out this little room and my first plan was to have like a little kitchen here and basically I would just add a little shelf put a sink in it but then just have like a decanter on the shelf here I might use this piece actually and then essentially just have a bucket underneath for waste water keep it really simple just to be able to like brush your teeth and to wash your hands um, and then make a little curtain underneath i think i think that might be cute 